Yo, what's up guys? My name is Mr. Freeze 2244 and in this video we'll be answering the question Is the latest DLC, the Undying Pack, worth it? And I'll be showcasing all the items that are in it and uh, yeah, away we go. So starting off with the ephemeral suit with eye patch. Uh, once you purchase the pack you'll unlock the suit automatically. There is a non-eye patch variant if you just complete the, well just even take part in the latest elusive target, the Undying Returns. That's only available from 30 days from the, from the date of this video. But I was just letting you know that the non eye patch variant is available through the Undying Returns. That's available right now. So no one can turn a blind eye to this elegant casual grey suit with brown gloves, leather shoes with a free eye patch to match. This ensemble is both casual and bold, giving an aura of oh, I got an eye on you. Ha! So this is what the suit looks like in game. And I like to showcase all this stuff on Whittledon Creek because it's got nice lighting. And uh, yeah, I think this is probably the best. It's probably now my new favourite suit because it's it's well fitting, one for one. Because we're getting a lot of suits that just don't fit 47. It's really baggy, but this one just fits really nice, and it's exactly the same as the Undying. Exactly the same. We had sort of the, the Undying look um, that come out in Hitman 3. Or was it Hitman? Yeah, it was Hitman 2. The, the, the Undying look came out, and it was sort of like this, but not quite. And I thought it quite went quite well with this ancestral Karugameyer. I just thought it looks looks nice with it. I can't remember how you unlock this particular pistol, this uh, ancestral Karugameyer, but I thought it just went really well with the outfit. And uh, yeah, I really like it. I think it looks really smart, really casual. And um, but then again, I would prefer the non eye patch variant because it just seems a bit ha ha ha. But if you're trying to th take things seriously, I wouldn't uh, bother with the eye patch. But again, the eye patch, non eye patch variant is only available through, you know, participating in the latest elusive target, the Undying Returns. So here are the items that you get with the DLC pack as well, the Undying pack. So starting off with the Kronstadt IOI 1998X surround earphones. So this is takes takes. This is basically a fiber wire. That's just all it is. Boasting a realistic 3D audio experience, making the listener feel like they are there, but more importantly, contains wiring sturdy enough to garrote your target, making them wish they were not there. So this is just acts as a regular fiber wire. So this is what it looks like in game. If you basically just drop it on the floor. But yeah, underwhelming in my opinion. Next is the Kronstad. Uh, an explo explosive pen gen 2 not for personal use at least not assigned the dotted line you may lose an eye but perfect as a small concealed explosive or sharp enough to kill on impact in case you would need it as a weapon so this is an explosive device but also acts as sort of like a knife and this is what it looks like in game as well beautiful beautiful right there lastly is the Kronstadt mini flash robo XRY 2900 the latest line of mini robotic flash bombs from Kronstadt includes everything you loved about Lil Flashy, but with high tech design that says, I mean business. So this is essentially, this. we've had a, it even mentions it, the Lil Flashy is just a robot that we've had before that explodes like a flash uh, remotely. So that's what it looks like in game. Here are all three items that you get from the DLC pack. And here is the showcase of what they can actually do. So starting off with the robot, so I said, it creates a distraction. It might, I think it might even give you a double distraction because the impact of the throw and then the, the noise it makes. And as you, of course, when you detonate it, it will flash them for about five seconds. And as for the pen, as I said, it acts as like a knife, then it's quite a delayed explosive on it. Now, my opinion on the little flashy thing, I think it's completely pointless. The uh, reason for that is because the five seconds just simply isn't enough for flashing. Um, we had a much better weapon uh, with the other DLC of the Seven Deadly Sins, where we've got the crossbow. That crossbow, I think it gives about 10 seconds of flash, so which is more, way more uh, handy than that kind of Man, item. Yeah, and you get two shots, I think. I think you do get with the crossbow. But as for the earphones, again, like, like I said, it's just a fiber. And, and to be honest, when you're using it, it looks exactly the same as a fiber. Anyway, this it's exactly the same animation. And what 47 looks like he's holding in his hand is a fiber anyway. Apart from when he's obviously walking. But I'm talking about when you're actually garroting your your enemies. So, uh, in my opinion, the items are very underwhelming, and I don't think any of them are useful at all in any situation. And I think really that's 
these are the sort of items that nobody's ever going to use in my personal opinion but again that is like i said just my opinion on top of those three items that you get as well as the suit from the uh, the undying pack you'll get six cosmetic items for your safe house and freelancer so i'll be showcasing them off here they all take place in your living room and there's one outside so starting off with the safe house decoration here for your sofa area i'm going to toggle through the options that i already have there is already some dlc stuff in there scrolling through more i'm currently level 100 so i have everything unlocked so if you are wondering anyway what is actually in these then this is the stuff that's capable here so this is the premium welcome with the dlc pack so it's very to the style of the undying so i'll showcase you a little bit closer so you get a little flower ornament there with the table the glass table you got the explosive that was in the lab area if you remember in the dying got the glass of whiskey with the ice in it got some good blueprints there and you can sit down so it's the only thing you can interact with over here in this area but aesthetically for a house i'm not sure it's uh it doesn't match up unless you have everything themed around this it just doesn't work in my opinion you'd have to have the whole house design around this otherwise it just doesn't work because this is out of place now when you start matching them up with this sort of area then it does start to come more immersive in this sort of area but again, I'm scrolling through all the options that we currently have. Some of them are, are very ghastly. Some of them I wish you could interact with more, like the piano and the pool table. But this is the what, a, what is part of the DLC pack as well. So again, very Kronstadt oriented, uh, orientated, oriented, orientated. What's the word? Can't remember now. But basically, it's it's based around all the Kronstadt stuff and based based around the Undying. So again, we got the explosive from the lab area. You can't take a seat in this area, unfortunately. They've got the laptop there with the blueprints. Got some drinks on the shelf at the back there, which you can't interact with. And also you've got this thing in the corner over there, which I really think it should have been actually part of this area here. I think it's a bit cheap to add that on. You do have a bottle of wine on the table, but what's the point? Oh my god. Anyway, that's those two items there showcased. So I'll show you the third bit, which is going to be over here in the corner. So the corner ornament, which is pretty much just adds to that piece that we've just showcased right there. So I'll just, again, I'll scroll through all the options here. We've got like a little uh, machine there, some flowers and plants, some barrels, telescope. So all sorts of stuff in this corner over here. But this is what is a part of the DLC pack. So this is the third item. It's just a chair, there's nothing special about it, but it adds to the, the centerpiece there. Which I think it really should have been just been a part of it. I think it's a bit, like I said, it's a bit cheap to add that on as a, another item. But it is what it is. It's just a chair. You can sit on it. There's no special animation. I really wish they included um, the Undying's animation where he's putting his fingers together. When he's sitting in the chair with his legs uh, leg across his knee. I really think they should have put that in there as a little... A little added addition to it all because it kind of just sets it all off doesn't it next thing we have is a kitchen area so they've got the kitchen counter here so again i'll scroll through the options there's not many variant variants to well, there is variants here but they're, they're very similar to each other there's not really much difference at all in any of these apart from what's on the table itself but yeah this is the one you get with a dlc pack so you've got a little phone there you've got a little plant you have a blending option for the beer, but 47 for some reason he doesn't take a drink from it. It's probably flat. It's probably from the previous night or something like that. I don't know. I did wait just in case there was any kind of animation, but no, he just stands there with a bottle of beer. I think we have this animation in Berlin, if I'm not mistaken, at the bar. But it is a nice, clean, like, like uh, kitchen table. But it, again, it doesn't go with the rest of the decor, does it? We still have our banana we still have an area to cut up our fish if we need it and we can drink wine but again those were available for the year previous uh pre previous versions of this table anyway as long as we can still have our banana we're fine but i think you can do that with all the variations anyway but there we go i'm not a fan of the kitchen overall to begin with i like a clean area but it's, no matter what variant of that kitchen you can have it's always a mess 
Next thing is going to be the wall art. So I'll take you through that, which I really like this one. I think this is the best part of the um, these items that got added to Freelancer. So these are just posters and stuff. The wall art you can hang on the wall. But the one that comes with the DLC is just this huge big clock that you get here. I like a big clock. Look at the size of it. The only, the only shame that I was thinking about, thinking about this, I thought it looks so cool, but I wish that it went with the real time. Like, if it's like 2 p.m. where I am right now, I would like it to show 2 p.m. on here. That would be really cool if it was like real time. We had that in a game recently. I can't remember. It was a game I played recently that was real time in game to real life, real time for where you are. I can't remember what game it was. I'm sure that people that watch my live streams will let me know which which game that was. But yeah, I think that's the best item a part of this pack overall. I, th I really like that. And I'm going to keep that on the wall. I think it's the only item I'm probably going to keep. Because I just think it's really cool. It stands out a lot. But yeah, for everything in the house here, that's it. Uh, there's one ornament outside as well. But that's five items that you get a part of the Undying pack. So let me know your thoughts on what you think about uh, all these items so far. I will show you the one main item outside because I've almost completely forgot. So here it is over here. It's just an ornament that's on the on the grass. It's actually kind of cool, actually. So if you scroll through, these are all the items that I've already have. Some of them are other DLC stuff, but this is a part of the DLC pack, and it's quite cool. I think I might actually leave this here like this. I think I think I quite like this one. You can't interact with it or anything like that, but I think it's quite good. It's just the android arm that's from the lab area, if you remember. We actually used this to knock out some of the researchers in the video. But yeah, you can't interact with it or anything. I try to push the leaves there, but you can't. But yeah, there you go. That's all six cosmetic items you get for the freelancer house. So yeah, that's everything. So to answer the question, is this Undying Pack DLC worth it? It's currently $5 or €5 Euros or £4 pounds to purchase this. So again, you get the six cosmetic items for the Freelancer safe house. You get the three items that I showcased earlier and you get this suit here with the pie patch. So in terms of is it worth it, I don't think so. Uh, you already get the non-eye patch variant of this suit by just even just playing the elusive target, the Undying Returns currently as of the time of this video. And uh, I think that's just a better version of the suit. The Elusive Target Arcade is also apparently a part of this pack. But um, again, I don't think it's worth it. It's the only. It, I would only say it's worth it if you like these cosmetic, cosmetic items. And if you really want to keep playing the Undying again and again and again. So it's entirely up to you really. But in my opinion, for all of the stuff that you get with this pack, I don't think it's worth it. And that's my opinion of what I think. But I'm interested to know what you guys think in the comments. Be sure to let me know as well. Subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel. Drop a like on your video if you did like it or you found it informative. And uh, consider becoming a Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description. I have all the details about that and how to join the, uh, the membership. Thank you very much for watching. I shall see you in the next video. Cheers. <laughs>